gentlemen, your next match is scheduled for one round with a six minute time limit in the blue belt division at 175 pounds. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, representing Brazilian Fight Factory, this is Sean O'Neill. And introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, representing Terra Leon, this is Manuel Garcia. Like I said, I've grappled with Manny before. Uh, again, I expect fireworks out of these guys. They're definitely going to go at it. So Manny has Eric Acosta, the black belt for Terra Leone in his corner, but he also has uh, Julian Godinez also off to the side. Julian's a, a good friend of mine, another another competitor to compete tonight. Um, got a draw against the black belt, but Julian's actually a brown belt. Uh, so Julian just competes at higher levels. He's just uh, that good. So having those two guys in his corner is definitely going to be a plus for Manny. Beautiful arm drag attack by Manny Garcia, but hey, Sean O'Neill caught on. He's not playing that game. So Sean O'Neill goes for arm drag himself, misses it. What's good for the goose is good for the gander, I guess. It's going to be interesting to see who can get the fight to the ground first and end up in a position they want to be in. That's going to be the, I think, the crux of this game right here. Sean, oh, Sean O'Neill has double underhooks. He should be able to finish. Oh, man, he throws him. Beautiful, beautiful. Looked like a Uchimata, vari Uchimata variation off of that by Manny. That was beautiful. A regular hip toss for you wrestlers. And Manny has a far side cradle position that he's trying to go for. Try and turn the hips away, turn the head away. Sean O'Neill's posting on the head very effectively, trying to get this regard, and he's back in guard. Good work there. So Sean O'Neill's now, now controlling posture. If you have guard, you gotta control posture. Everybody knows that. Sean O'Neill's doing a very good job of controlling that posture. Manny Garcia has to put his head up. And both his coaches are yelling, head up, head up, head up. That's what you should, that's what you should be hearing. Head up and control their hands so they can't control you. Manny's trying to pass. Oh, yeah. There he is. Look at his pass. He's got the far arm underneath. Manny Garcia, if you can control the wrist and put, and put wrap O'Neal's. Oh, he lost it. It's tempting to do was make it so that O'Neal's arm went under his own body. And he's going to do it again. He's going for it again. Look at that. There's the pass. There's the pass. Forces O'Neal at a minimum to half guard. But, ooh, O'Neal winds up getting a sweep out of the deal. And now Manny's on bottom. With a butterfly. Look at this. There we go. All right, so Manny goes back to close guard, and he's on the edge. So they're going to move him back to the center. Lots of motion, lots of activity here. That's what you should expect to see. One of the things you have to understand about Submission Hunter is you don't get paid unless you submit the guy. So both these guys, there's no point in stalling and going for points. They don't care about points. They want submissions. They want submissions. Manny tried a little elbow crank on that with an overhook. Sometimes you can use that. Against higher level opponents, you don't really get that submission. You normally use it to transition to something else. And Manny uses it to transition back up. That's good. There you go. So now, now Manny's coaches are encouraging him to be more active with the assumption that Sean O'Neill has actually lost some energy on all those exchanges. Um, I will say that Sean is doing some things that are 
somewhat indicative of a person who's more tired, his legs are straighter in his, in his uh, stand-up position. He's doing most of his bending at his back instead of at his knees. Um, he's breathing a little hard. So I can see why Manny's coaches feel like they, have, they might have the advantage cardiovascularly. Beautiful takedown. Oh my God, beautiful takedown. Takedown was so good, Manny didn't even see it. <laughs> there we go. Push, push, push here, Manny. Manny's gonna try and go for the same guard pass. He's trying to control that far wrist and put it underneath. But Sean O'Neill's diving around, trying to grab legs and all of the types of stuff. One so Manny's got the back, but he doesn't have hooks in, so he's gonna fall over top. There you go. He has a Kimura attempt locked in, but without being able to, to grab the other parts of him, uh, and he lost it. He lost the figure four position that he needs in order to finish the Kimura. So he used it to get a, somewhat of a sweep, but he doesn't have the ability to use it to submit. Now he tried to turn it into Americana, and that didn't work. So now he's trying to mount so he can use the position to make sure his submissions are more secure. Remaining. Now you don't have a lot of time, so it's problematic. Manny's going to try. Oh, and we almost go off the mat with 20 seconds left to go. Both athletes pushing hard. Both athletes definitely trying to go for submissions. No questions asked on that one. Ten seconds. Manny's going for the same pass, trying to lock that arm underneath Sean O'Neill. And it's working, it's working, but I'm not sure he's going to have the time to get the pass and then try for, an, for submissions time. in that position. Time, no he doesn't, runs out of time. Good work, both competitors. Definitely see where their individual games are being played. Ladies and gentlemen, the six minute time limit has expired. This match is a draw.